Okay, everyone. Recently, the art establishment in Fountain Hill, Pennsylvania had what's called an event called Dual Canvas. And by Dual Canvas, it's D-U-A-L, not D-U-E-L, all right? And what this means is there are actually two artists painting on the same canvas. Now, this wasn't a competition, all right? This was actually, uh, you could buy uh, for a raffle, uh, blind, silent auction rather, to raise money. And what I loved about, the main aspect I loved about it was that with both artists, it wasn't so much one would paint, the other would paint, one would paint, the other would paint, etc., etc., etc. You had both artists at times painting on the canvas at the same time and kind of like, from what I saw, glancing over at each other and collaborating on one piece of work. Now this, I can only imagine, cannot have been easy because chances are the, art, the two artists working together had different styles, techniques, um, you know, their own personal ways of doing things, etc., to combine to form a beautiful piece of art and a beautiful painting that could not have been easy to, to accomplish or achieve. Uh, especially when you're trying to, when you're trying to uh, complement each other, not complement and contrast each other, not in a bad way, but in a very good way, to make something that, you know, st really stands out. Yes, it did have a couple of favorites, and I'm not going to tell you what they were. Um, but it was just, overall, it was really wild to watch this happen, you know, to watch this actually happen. Now, there wasn't really a set time frame that a few hours to complete this, so they could work kind of at their own pace, but it was just, like I said, you know, just amazing to watch these, you know, two different artists come together and form one beautiful piece of art and one beautiful painting. Now, the artwork is available for silent auction at, over at the art establishment. The art establishment, by the way, is on Broadway, in, Broadway and Fountain Hill, kind of sandwiched between the south side of Bethlehem and the the south side of Allentown. Yeah, the sandwich between the south side of Bethlehem and the south side of Allentown. So, there is, these, this art is available for silent auction. I believe the minimum bid is $20. If you're in the area and you have a chance, stop by, look at the art that was created. It is amazing, honestly. You know, you actually, um, in some of the pieces, I've seen some of the photos that Ellen Flynn has posted, um, and you really can't tell if they were, you know, this was done by two, two different people and two different artists. It looks like a lot of the work was just created by one, one single artist. So if you get a chance, stop by, place a bid. I know the money is going for, I believe it's for a charity, or uh, for a charity, or to raise money for a very serious, something very serious, all right? If I'm wrong, please forgive me. But anyway, definitely stop by the art establishment. By the way, the art establishment also offers classes. They have art exhibit openings. They have a lot going on up there. Check them out if you're in the area, definitely. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff of Surreal Vale City Online Magazine. To the sponsors, financial and otherwise, of the magazine, thank you so much uh, for everything you've done. Um, on a different note, recently the magazine has lost one of its sponsors, an old friend of mine who's like a mother to me, who was one of the main people I kept things going behind the scenes. Uh, she recently passed away, so. But to all the financial, all the sponsors, please check the thanks to our sponsors page and support these people and, and great businesses that support small independent media. To everyone out there for the page views, and for the feedback and everything, thank you so much because without you, there'd be no point. From Hamilton Boulevard on a beautiful summer evening here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, you get one chance every moment in life. Thank you, Count.